Someone's shooting at us! Well, if they weren't, we wouldn't be at AK-47 Stadium here in Hexon, Texas. Bring your body armor to the stadium or wear a body bag for the ride home in the hearse. Both teams hit the field ready to hit each other in this MFL matchup. The Cardinal Sins go up against the Hexon Oilers. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, Pop? The panty wagons in the parking lots are full. The familiar scent of bodily fluids in the air. And the men's room is both flooding and on fire. And that means MFL game day is on the air. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzer along with Bricks and Bricks Jr. Man, last week some mutant let out a lava blast in one of the stalls in the men's room. Place went up like an oil rig. Flames and explosions. Water shooting out of where the toilets were. <laughs> I electrocuted myself using the electric hand dryer. I wish they had paper towels at least as an option. It's a boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot Second down in a mile. Hot one, hot two, hot. That pass play nets them seven yards. Oh, no. I got the hiccups again. What are you supposed to do to get rid of them again? You stick it in a plastic bag, say the alphabet backwards while you set yourself on fire and jump out the window. It ought to stop them. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. Nice punt. Should move them back nice. They let the punt drop, and it will be down by the defense. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. Roid rage. Because if you can't answer your question with violence, ask another. Sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, going in circles. He's at the 10. Goal! If you ever do that again, Bricks, I'll shoot you in the head. Well, people like it. Hey, man, I was on the now. You <laughs> Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It's good. They need a good return here to set up the offense. They're going to be able to return this one. First and ten. Oh, man, the offense called a murder ball. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. Oh, and he looks 
looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off season. Second down and six. Crushed. First and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. And he catches it for six yards. Good mitts on that with the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwann Galaxy phone. And that'll be second down and four. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. Perfect pass and a score! Hey, you kill him, ref. It's not murder if they have it coming, right? Take the hand, do something about that ref, you pussies! Third down, and, and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. QB offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Oh, devastating hit! You ever get 
Margaret hit that hard, Bricks? Yep, third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. And then he jars the ball loose, and it's a fumble. That's what happens when you hurdle and take a hard hit. And it's first and ten. And the ball is lateral to his teammate. We're talking street ball here for him. Like breaks his bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. And it's first and ten. and he picks up a new set of downs. First and four. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And that'll be second down and four. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. Third and four. Quarterback passes for a touchdown. Man, are these guys greedy or desperate? Either way, they're going for two. And he makes the grab and adds two points to their score. And he takes a break from conquering and vaporizing other civilizations to score six points. He's such a driven player. You gotta give him credit. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And we've got a tight battle here as quarter one comes to an end. And it's first and ten. Dirt sandwich. Second down and nine. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some? Ouch! What is this? Andy's wrestling? First and ten. No, oh, what a great defensive play that Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. Second down and ten. warming up and the quarterback throws in what a hit that was
And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. You can tell he's a berserker because he's frothing at the mouth. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? See that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> And the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. Uh, I think they want to hit those last two runners for the Zachman. Second down and two. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. That ball was almost intercepted. Third and two. Just some good old downhill running there. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. And it's first and ten. Reception. This quarterback is going to list. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. toe-to-toe -to -toe with me, you get my grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. And it's first and ten. <laughs> Boom! Dead and down! He delivered the freaky fast ham a sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow! Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? Now, yeah, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. And it's first and ten. And the NFL winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. <laughs> One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. Wow! The quarterback just threw a sonic blast to his receiver. No you ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And he picks up eight yards on a strong... Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. The offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. 
And it's first and ten. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five on that play. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore win. Second down and five. The defense didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. Third down and five. Oh, great catch! And that's a touchdown! Take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good. As expected. Those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Now, what about when you get knocked out? What do you do then? Run. <laughs> and it's first and ten. stepped up and blew up. <laughs> He's got a lot of guts, doesn't he? And you can see the ground crew cleaning him up now. Hot potato get the offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Ah, this new QB, he don't even look too confident. He's bleeding with the coach on the sidelines about something. Yeah, he's telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. And it's first and ten. <laughs> If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. They stump the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Oh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. The 20. The 10. Touchdown! And he rips off a game-breaking run for the score. <laughs> the offense lost their final quarterback. Lucky for them, they're on defense now or the game would be over. So all the other team has to do is punt the force of forfeit? That would be correct, Bricks. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. The Hexen Oilers get crushed literally and lose by forfeit today. And let's go down to the field and hear the MVP. He's a real role model for the kids, Bricks. That is, if you want your kids to be a roid raging narcissist with uncontrollable verbal diarrhea. Oh, that personality disorder has a name. It's called autotrumpism. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Micro Heart Corporation. They get it right every up.